Hey guys, welcome back. So today I got a good one for you. First off, this is a sponsored video. The nice folks at Xtool were kind enough to send me this AniScan A30M bi-directional dealer level scan tool uh, for test and review. And I'd also like to give a shout out to WJ Handy Dad for giving them uh, my name uh, to send me this. Otherwise, this review would not have been possible. And this is also going to be a collaboration, except uh, Handy Dad's video is going to come out in about two weeks. And that should be interesting because he's got a lot more vehicles to play with uh, the bi-directional commands on this tool. <clears throat> and right now these are going for $220 with a 5% off coupon. So whenever I do these scan tool reviews, I like to give a brief uh, overview on why there's... Uh, 900 different scan tools on Amazon ranging in price from $5 to $5,000. And in order to make sense of that, I like to lump them into three categories. The first category is what I call the DIY vehicle owner category. And these are scan tools about $100 and below. And these are general uh, powertrain engine code readers. And they'll get done about 90% of what you need to do to fix your car. And the second category is what I call the repair technician class. And these are tools that cost $100 to $1,000. And this is a tool that a repair technician would purchase with his own money in order to work at a repair facility uh, to work on cars every single day. And the last category is what I call uh, shop equipment, what a repair dealer uh, would buy in order to be able to have maximum compatibility to work on any car that rolls through the door. And uh, these cost anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. So uh, <clears throat> where does the uh, AniScan AM or A30M fit into that? Well, I really can't uh, talk about the A30M unless I talk about the D7. And the reason why that is, is because uh, this A30M scan tool has the same functionality as this D7 uh, X tool, uh, except for one thing. And this uh, D7, it programs keys. Now, how do, how do they get from $480 for this uh, heavy duty unit uh, comparable to this smaller unit that only gives you the Wi-Fi dongle for 220 Well, the main reason is this uh, control module. They give you like a little tablet to control this thing. And uh, with this, you have to provide your own smartphone or tablet in, or in order to control it. So that right there brings, brings down a lot of the cost. But the key thing that both of these scan tools share is they both have the exact same software. So what you're paying for when you buy the A30M is access to the software that they've been developing and, and improving for the past couple of years. And I gotta say, uh, it's, it, it works pretty good because it's, it's kind of based on customer feedback. When a customer or a mechanic finds a problem, they send them an email to let them know not what's not working with the tool and then they make a firmware update and fix it and then you can uh, download the update for free and then it works so it works out pretty good now uh, real quick uh, let me go over some of the neat things this does uh, it has 21 uh, special maintenance services and these are things like oil life and maintenance light reset uh, BMS battery relearn, ABS module bleeding, TPMS reset relearn, SRS airbag light reset, tire size calibration, speedometer correction, instrument cluster odometer programming, electronic parking brake reset, transmission shift point relearn, steering angle sensor relearn, DPF filter regen, uh, fuel injector coating relearn, crankshaft position flywheel relearn, air suspension, ride height adjustment, throttle body relearn, adaptive headlamp adjustment, power window, and power seat initialization. Uh, electronic water pump activation, those EcoBoost engines, sometimes you gotta uh, activate the water pump in order to service it. Uh, disable transport mode and cylinder matching. 
Now, the other, uh, the other important thing of why this tool is so uh, powerful is it has bi-directional communication with any actuator that is controlled by the PCM. So these are things like transmission shift, uh, solenoids, fuel pumps, uh, ABS modules, uh, any type of electrical actuator that uh, turns on and off or is monitored or is controlled by the PCM, uh, this tool can turn on and off and uh, that, that will help speed up your diagnosis. So uh, let me go over some pros and cons and then we'll get into the fun stuff and I'll start turning things on and off. So for pros, uh, this thing is a bi-directional uh, command of any component controlled by the PCM. It's user-friendly. I used this thing for about a day and I didn't even realize that I didn't read the owner's manual or the user manual. Uh, it's, it's really not even necessary. You just, if you can use a smartphone or a tablet, uh, you can use this uh, code reader or scan tool. Uh, the next thing is this has free lifetime firmware and software updates. Uh, when you get into these higher level, uh, uh, repair dealer level scan tools, uh, the reason why they're so expensive is because they have so much uh, compatibility and so much uh, things they can do, but that comes at a cost. And every year when the new technology comes out, they've got to do updates in order to keep the tool working. So what's great about this is it's got free software updates for life. You never have to pay an additional fee for an update or an additional fee for the special functions like ABS bleeding and um, things like that. And as far as cons, I said uh, on my print, oh yeah, and this thing also prints reports. Uh, I'll show that to you later. You can print a report of your DTCs, vehicle information, uh, live stream data, and tests that you've recorded, and you can print all that out. Uh, and that's real nice if, you were, if you're keeping track of your vehicles, you want to put it in your vehicle file, or even if you're a mobile mechanic or a small repair shop and you want to generate a document to give to your customer of what all the, the data and the problems were in their car, that can be real uh, professional and credible. Uh, so for my cons, on, on the printed reports, it didn't print my VIN number or my year, make, and model or the freeze frame data. And what I did, uh, I noticed that the second day I got the scan tool and I sent AnyScan, or I, scan, I sent XTool an email, I said, hey, uh, this is not working, and I, I, sh I showed them the report. And uh, within one week, uh, they fixed the problem and they pushed out a firmware update and uh, they fixed it. So that right there should tell you uh, what kind of tech support you get from these people and how fast they're willing to fix a problem. And I think that's just uh, pretty neat. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to mention is because you have to provide your own smartphone or tablet, you've got to download the app. And when you download the app, you're hit with this. It says, allow Flex to access photos, media, and files on your device, and you must allow that. Now, right off the bat, this is going to be a huge red flag for some people, because if you've got your entire life on your smartphone, uh, you probably don't want a third-party app that you don't know or trust to have access to all your information. And if you think that's uh, spyware from behind the red curtain, well, Apple and Microsoft kind of do the same thing. So I don't think it has anything to do with them. So uh, for my application, what I do is I buy these cheap uh, smart, prepaid smartphones from uh, Straight Talk. I got this one for $10, and it's got a 5-inch screen, and it's been working out uh, pretty great. I, I use this thing as a remote control or to look at my security cameras or watch YouTube or whatever. I just, I've just never made a phone call on it or used it for anything else. So I'm so uh, pleased with how well this thing works. I'm going to be upgrading to a tablet. I'm going to get one of these 7-inch Walmart tablets for 60 bucks, and it's going to give me a, a much bigger 7-inch uh, real estate in order to access these menus. So if you, uh, you, if you don't want to download this app to your main cell phone, you might want to get a throwaway uh, burner phone or even just purchase a cheap tablet. 
and uh, real quick, uh, this, these are what the reports look like. And one of my favorite things about this is you can put in your information, like your company name, your address, your phone number, and your email address, and even uh, the, the technician name or the shop owner name. And then it's got all the DTCs and uh, your, your vehicle data. See right there, it's got the VIN number for my Grand Marquis, but it didn't have it for my Crown Vic. And uh, th this is a report of my uh, some live data I was doing. This is my uh, transmission fluid temperature, uh, but it's in centigrade. It what didn't print in, f in Fahrenheit. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so uh, let me show you what all this thing can do here. Uh, so I've got it hooked up, and uh, I got to give a shout out to Elsie for sending me this uh, extension cord. They sent me a. Uh, an 18 inch X-Tool OBD2 extension cable and that's because I wanted to show you uh, the voltmeter. This thing has a built-in voltmeter on it and it's got these three uh, status LEDs. The red light means it's on, the blue light means Bluetooth is connected with your phone, and this third light is green and that's going to start flashing when we start uh, <clears throat> commanding things to come to go on and off. So. So this is the main menu here. Uh, this is your settings. There's my uh, workshop info that I was showing you. And uh, let me show you how to update this thing. So because uh, your your phone or your tablet's going to be connected to Wi-Fi, uh, these are all of the updates that are available for their for this unit. There originally there was 102, and those are for every manufacturer and for all of the special functions. And for this, I've downloaded uh, maybe five or six uh, manufacturers, and I downloaded all of the special functions. <clears throat> and I recommend you do that one at a time or as needed, because if you hit update all, uh, it takes quite a bit of time depending on how old uh, your device is. And uh, so let's get into some diagnosis. So these are all of the special functions that I've downloaded, like uh, TPMS reset, airbags, ABS bleeding, ABS module bleeding, electronic parking brake, battery reset, uh, service light, oil light, uh, tire modification. If you put on a different tire size, you need to recalibrate the speedometer or whatever. Um, odometer adjustment, that's a neat one. If you've got to replace your your dash or your odometer, you can put in your mileage uh, for your new uh, dash, a uh, bunch of other things. And these are uh, the manufacturers I've downloaded, uh, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. And if you want to delete them, uh, you just long press it. I don't see myself needing Dodge, so let me uh, delete that one. And then I've got Honda and Toyota in here. So let's get into the Ford one. <clears throat> And let me go manual to speed this up. And Ford Crown Vic, 4.6, two valve, 2004. Okay, no traction and system selection. Okay, so these are all of the modules that I have access to. Powertrain, anti-lock brakes, restraint control module, that's the airbags and seat belts, uh, driver door module, Electronic automatic temperature control, that's the HVAC. Uh, fuel indication module, lighting control module, message, message center, rear air suspension, and variable uh, assist power steering. So let's get into the uh, driver door module. This is real neat. And I'm going to get into the actuation tests. Now I can lock the doors by pushing this button. Maybe you heard that. And if I want to unlock the driver door, I can do that. And if I want to open the trunk, I can do that. And uh, all right, now let's get into the lighting control module, actuation test, uh, chimer control. This is neat. Okay, and um, 
Look at this, I can uh, turn on the headlights. Maybe you can see that when they came on. Yeah, I can turn on the headlights. Um, what else can I do? I don't want to turn on the horn right now. Okay, warning lamp of safety belt. Yeah, there it is right there. And I just turned it off. Okay, um, and uh, let me do powertrain actuation test. All right, now let's go outside and do some cool things. Okay. So if you wanted to turn on your fuel pump, maybe you can hear that. And let's get into we're all oh, shift solenoid. Okay now let's say if you've got a transmission problem and you want to see if you're transmission shift solenoids are working. I'll put you under here and hopefully you can hear this little click. Here we go. That was it. And let me do it again one more time. Yeah, that little knocking noise. So uh, that can that can be a huge time saver to see if things like that work. Otherwise you'd have to drop the pan and remove the valve body and in order to get to a shift solenoid <laughs> and now let's go under the hood and see what I can show you in here oh here's a neat one I got a uh, I can control the uh, the anti-theft lamp on the dash here. So that's this little light right here. Right now I'm going to turn it on. There you go. Hopefully you saw that. And then now I'll turn it off. Sometimes you got to hit it twice. There you go. Okay, now let's get into Oh yeah, I got to go in through special functions to do the ABS bleed. So I got to back out of this. Okay, special services, ABS bleed, Ford. Okay, Crown Victoria. Okay, no traction. System selection, anti-lock brakes, vehicle communication establishing. Special functions, ser service bleed of anti-lock brake system. Actuation of operator, see workshop manual, have vehicle prepared, turn on ignition, got all that. Make sure brake fluid reservoir is not empty, okay. Okay, okay, and here you go. <clears throat> okay, so I, I did this a minute ago and it counts up to 90 seconds. I don't really want to do that for that long. Okay, so uh, that's going to be my review of the X-Tool A30M. Uh, for $220, uh, this is a very, very powerful, high-level, dealer-level scan tool with all of the bi-directional communication and 21 special features. So uh, this thing is uh, value-packed, but the I guess the downside for some folks is you're going to have to supply your own smartphone or tablet. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.